Hi everyone, this is Selena. Welcome back to one of my videos. I hope you're well. If you're new to my channel, welcome. My name is Selena and I release a crochet tutorial every week. And this week I'm bringing to you this um, beautiful cocoon cardigan. I absolutely adore it. It's super easy to crochet and it features a granny square and then the shape for the cardigan is um, is created and sleeves are added and the shell stitch um, edging at the front is added and it's really really easy. The free pattern is as always available on my blog selinaveronique.com uh, the link will be in the down bar and this is a great project if you're a beginner and it's an amazing project for autumn winter it's really really easy as I said. For this project I used um, three skeins of Caron Cakes. I used um, just a tiny bit of the third skein. So this is shade Red Velvet and it's 80% um, acrylic, 20% wool. It's a medium for yarn and it's a really nice yarn to work with. I also used um, a skein of Stylecraft Special Aran and this is 100% acrylic and this is shade Lipstick and again this is a medium for yarn and I absolutely love this shade and I used it for um, the sleeve cuffs and for um, the front edging. I also um, used a 6.5mm crochet hook, a pair of scissors and a tapestry needle. I will be speaking in US terms with British terms in brackets and I hope you enjoy this tutorial. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe, it really helps grow my channel and um, thank you so much to my patrons on Patreon for supporting my work. If you are interested in more feminine crochet, just um, all my socials and my Patreon page are in the down bar. And without further ado, I'm just going to jump into the tutorial. However, I just want to say that um, this project comes in um, size S to triple XL. So I will be demonstrating size S. However, um, all the different sizes are available for free on my blog. Um, the link is in the down bar, like I said. So if you want to make a different size, just go ahead and click on the link and um, I will be explaining in the tutorial and in the pattern just what to do um, if you're making a different size. So yeah, I hope you enjoy this tutorial. Thank you so much for watching. Okay, so to begin this tutorial, I will be showing you how to uh, make your granny square. So without further ado, I'm just gonna show you how to make this square. Okay, so to begin your granny square, you will be making a slip knot. So just go ahead and create your slip knot like this. And now just pop your hook through. And for the purpose of this video, I will be um, demonstrating how to make a granny square with um, a random uh, yarn because it is easier to see on camera. So once you've uh, made your slip knot, you will be chaining four. So chain four, one, two, three and four. And once you've chained four, you will be slip stitching through the first chain, like so. Pull your yarn through um, both loops on your hook to create a circle. So now we've created a circle into which we will be um, working our granny square and I will be um, tidying up my loose end as I go. So to begin um, round one we will be chaining three, one, two and three and this first chain three counts as a um, double crochet. So now that we've um, done this we are going to be placing two double crochets within this center. So just go ahead and um, wrap your yarn around your hook, go into the center directly, pull up a loop, you've got three loops on your hook, take your yarn and pull through two loops, 
and take your yarn and pull through two loops and that creates a double crochet okay so now that we've done this um, double crochet we are going to be placing another one into the center so just go ahead and place another double crochet into the center and because this first chain three here counts as a double crochet that means we have three double crochets in total inside this center so now what we are going to be doing is chain two one and two and what we are going to be doing now is placing another cluster of three double crochets inside this center so just go ahead and place three double crochets inside this center two and three and now that we've placed um, this cluster of three double crochets inside the center we are going to be chaining two one and two and the these chain twos count um, are going to be the corners so this will make sense as we go along so don't worry but just so you know um, we are creating clusters of three double crochets separated by chain two chains so now we are going back into the center with another cluster of three double crochets so go back into the center with a cluster of three double crochets two and three and um, now we are going to be chaining two, one and two, and going back into the center with a cluster of three double crochets. So one, two, and three. And that means we have placed um, four clusters in total of double crochets inside this center so one two three and four and we've almost finished this round and to finish this round off we are going to be chaining two one and two um, and now slip stitch through the first um, chain Of this round to close off this round and as you can see our granny square is really starting to look like a granny square and just so you know later on we will be pulling on this um, you can do it now or later but you can pull on the center um, to close it so I'll be doing that later but just so you know the center does close so now what we are going to be doing for round two is chain three, one, two, and three. And this counts as our first double crochet. Now what we are going to be doing is turning our work around and we are going to be working inside this um, chain two space. And I'm just going to be um, saying something and that's really important it's that you should always turn your work at every round for um, a granny square because if you don't it, um, if you don't turn your work at every round your granny square starts to look um, really strange it starts to take on a very um, um, weird kind of shape so to have a nice granny square you must turn it at every round so now that we've chained three and turned our granny square around we are going to be working in this space and you are going to be placing two more double crochets inside this space so one and two and obviously um, this um, chain three counts as a double crochet so that means we have a cluster of three double crochets inside this round now chain two one and two and go back into this um, corner with three double crochets so one two and three um, double crochets inside this 
corner and that's the beginning of round two. Now what we are going to be doing is going directly into the next space so skip all these stitches here and go into the next space and place a cluster of three double crochets inside that space. One, two, three, chain two, one and two, and place another three double crochets inside that space. One, two, and three. And so this creates um, your next um, corner. So now that we've done this, so we've placed a cluster of three double crochets, chain two, three double crochets, skip these stitches and go directly into the next corner and place three double crochets, one and two and three, chain two, and place another three double crochets inside this corner, like so. And now um, go directly into the next um, space here, which is also the last one for this round, and go in with three double crochets, one, two, and three, chain two, one, two, and three. And now that we've um, gone all the way around, so as you can see, we've created our next round, almost, sorry about this loose end. What we are going to be doing is slip stitching directly to the first chain that we did to close off this round. And this is what we have. And as you can see, this is um, round two of this um, granny square. And as you can see, um, it's starting to have spaces on the sides. So we have the corners here and then we've got a space here and then we've got another corner and then a space and so on. So um, <clears throat> what we are going to be doing for the next round is chaining three, one, two and three and that counts as our first double crochet. Turn your work and we are going to be working inside this space. And so um, this is um, going to be what I call the side stitches. So that's just what I call them and that means that they're not a corner. And um, as we go along, so as our granny square will grow, we will have more and more of those side stitches and less and less of the corners because obviously we only have four corners in a square, which makes sense. And this, uh, the side stitches are going to grow. So we've placed, um, this is considered our first double crochet. And we're going to place two more inside this space, one and two. And that creates our first um, cluster of three double crochets. And that's what we are going to be placing in the side stitches, is a simple cluster of three double crochets. Now we are going to be going into the next space and the next space is um, a corner. So place three double crochets into that one, two and three. Chain two, one and two and place three more double crochets inside that corner, one, two and three. And now um, go into this side stitch with a cluster of three double crochets. So one, two, and three. 
three. And then go into the next um, corner. So that's the side stitch, so sorry about that. So as you can see in this round, we've just done the corner here. And the corners will always be the same thing. Three double crochets, chain two, three double crochets, and then go directly into the next stitch with a cluster of three double crochets. And we have another corner here. So we are going to be doing, as usual, three double crochets, chain two, three double crochets, two, and three. Now go into the next stitch with um, a cluster of three double crochets, one, two, three, and then go into um, the next stitch, which is a corner with three double crochets. One, two, three, chain two, and three double crochets. One, two, three. Go directly into the next space, which is a side space, so just three double crochets, one, two, and three. And then go into the next space, which is a corner, with three double crochets, one, two, and three. Chain two, and one, Two and three and slip stitch through that first chain three to close off this round and this is what we have for now so this is we've got one two three um, rounds for now and as you can see like I said the sides the sides are going to grow so as you can see, we now have one space here and one space there for each side. So now for the next round, we are going to be chaining three. One, two, and three. Turn your work like so. And this is a side stitch. So we are just going to be placing two more double crochets, one, and two inside this side stitch. Then go into the corner here with three double crochets. One, two, three double crochets, chain two, and one, sorry, because this is the corner, one, two, three, and this is what we have, and we are going to be going into the next um, space, so obviously we are skipping those stitches here, and going into the next space, which is a side space, with a one, two, three double crochets and now we are going into the next space with a cluster of three double crochets one two and three and then go into the next space which is also a corner and place three double crochets one two, three, chain two and place another cluster of three double crochets obviously because this is the corner. So you see the pattern is starting to build and it's very repetitive and very easy um, to understand. So now you are going to go into the next space 
which is also um, a side stitch. So just go ahead and place three. So we're just going to go into the next stitch with three double crochets. One, two, and three. And go into the next space with three double crochets. One, two, and three. And then the next space is a corner. So three double crochets. One, two, three, chain two, and one. Two and three, and um, I'll let you carry on this um, this round because it's really easy. So what you will be doing is going into the next um, space, which is also a side stitch with. A cluster of three double crochets and go into the next one with three double crochets then we have our last um, corner where you will be placing three double crochets chain two three double crochets and then there will be one um, space left here the side last side space where you will be placing three double crochets into that I'll let you finish this and then I'll get back to you to show you the next um, how to finish off this round and how to do the next one. Okay, so I'm back and I've um, placed my last cluster of three double crochets here on the side. And to finish off this row, I'm round, I'm just gonna slip stitch where we started and this is what we have for now. So as you can see, our granny square um, is growing and so are our side stitches. So this, um, so I'm just going to show you so as you can see we only have four corners and then we've got one side here, one side here, one side here and then a corner. And so these side um, clusters, stitches, are going to grow more and more. So yeah, so now for the next round we are going to be chaining three, one, two and three and this counts as our first double crochet turn your work and obviously this is a side um, cluster so we are going to be placing two more double crochets inside this stitch now go into the next um, space with three double crochets one two and three and then go into um, the corner here which is um, chain th um, three double crochets one two and three chain two one two And three. Now we are going to be working on this side here. So um, place um, a cluster of three double crochets inside this space. One, two, and three. Oops. Then go into the next space and place three double crochets. And I'm just going to let you carry on this, um, this round um, and this pattern because it's just very repetitive, obviously. So I'm just going to de-zoom for a second. There we go. So I'm just going to let you carry this on. As you can see, it's very easy. So just... Um, 
carry on this round with placing um, directly three double crochets inside this space and then going into the corner with three double crochets, chain two, three double crochets and then going into the each space on the side so we have three double crochets and then the corner as usual three double crochets, chain two, three double crochets and then the sides with a cluster of three double crochets each time <clears throat> and then the last corner which is three double crochets, chain two, three double crochets and then one last cluster of three double crochets and then slip stitch to close off this round and just carry on um, repeating this pattern over and over um, for size S so obviously I'm demonstrating size S and so for size S you will be needing 28 rows in total and that um, brings this square that we will be needing to 35.5 inches so um, square so that's what you'll be needing 28 uh, rows and for the other sizes just check out my blog selinaveronique.com the link is in the down bar to see how many rounds you need but it's very easy it'll just indicate how many rounds you need for the size that you want to make and I'll let you carry this on if you need more help just rewind the video or check out my blog um, for the free written pattern and just carry this on until you reach um, the size that you need for your square and then I'll show you how to um, create your um, cocoon cardigan okay so I'm back and I'm going to show you the rest of the pattern however I wanted to show you um, how to um, sew in this center before I show you the rest of the project because this is so important so I've gently um, pulled on this yarn obviously your project will be a lot wider like um, this one here but I'm just showing you how to do this with the sample and I'm going to pop my needle through and what you are going to be doing is sewing this center in as much as you can as best as you can because um, you want your um, your project to be nice and secure and this can really unravel so this part is so crucial I know that I really really like to sew in this um, really well so just carry on sewing it in as best you can and as much as you can I like to sew my centers in really really well because I just think that um, this can unravel um, can, like really fast so just do that and then I'll show you how to um, do the rest of the pattern okay so this is what I have this is the square obviously you can't see the whole square on camera because it's too large but I do have my 28 rows and if you want um, a photo of what photos of what we are going to be doing now just check out my blog once again the link is in the down bar but um, just so that you can have a visual but this is what I have so I've placed the square flat what I am going to be doing is folding it in two so just go ahead and fold this project in two and obviously this is a square so because it's a square there's no preferred um, side just unfold it in two like so there we go and this is what we have and there we go and what we are going to be doing now is measuring um, this project to um, to create the sleeves so what you will be doing I'm just looking for my materials there we go so we are going to be measuring this project from the inside um, crease so we folded our project and this is where the fold is and this is the outside of the cardigan and obviously you've symmetrically um, folded this in half you are going to be measuring for size S and M 
9 inches. So measure 9 inches here and for different sizes just go ahead on my blog and you will be able to, um, to see um, what um, measurements you need to do. So it might be a bit more than 9 inches but just check out my blog for that information. So once you've measured the right measurement, just attach your yarn. So I'm just going to pop a hook through here just to indicate the space. Attach your yarn. You can place stitch markers if you wish. Um, that's entirely up to you. But because we are going to be sewing this in directly, like so. Um, there we go. There we go. So we've attached our yarn. And now what we are going to be doing is sewing um, this part in. So... Just take your loose strand of yarn here and this will create um, um, the sleeves of this project. So just go ahead and start stitching from here to here. I'm just going to zoom in a bit. Mm -mm. There we go. So just I'm going to use the mattress stitch which is where I go from one side to the other side, like so. So I hope you can see. So just go ahead and sew this in all the way to the top and then once you reach here I'll show you what to do then. So I've almost finished um, stitching this part in so I'm just going to show you what I'm doing to finish this off. So I am going um, really very much um, to the very top of this project. There we go. There we go. And so as you can see we've sewed in um, this whole part. What I am going to do to finish off this part is just make a knot. So just go ahead and create a knot. There we go. And what you will do after that is obviously um, snip off your yarn and sew it in. But that's just logic. Repeat this process on the other side. So I'm just going to sew in this, um, this loose end and just go ahead and repeat um, this process on the other arm. And then I'll show you what to do after that. So there we go, I've um, I finished this side and this part is stitch in, stitched in and this part as you can see is um, where we will be creating our sleeves. So just repeat this on the other side and then I'll show you how to crochet your sleeves in. Okay so I'm back and I'm going to show you how to create your sleeves. So I've switched um, the project round as you can see, so the opening is here and we are going to be um, creating the sleeves um, in this opening. So just go ahead and pop your hook through, take your yarn and pull your yarn through like this and tie a knot. I'm only going to do one knot. Pop your hook through, pull up a loop. I'm going to zoom in actually. And chain one. 
and that does count as your first single crochet. I will be tying in my loose end as I go. I hope you can see properly. Let me just zoom in again. There we go. And what you are going to be doing is placing a single crochet into the next stitch. And then a single crochet into the next stitch. And a single crochet into the next stitch. And into the next stitch. And place a single crochet all the way around until you reach the beginning of this um, the beginning of this round and then I'll show you what to do then so just go ahead and go all the way around until you reach um, this part where we began and I'll show you how to um, finish off this round so I'm back and I've gone all the way around as you can see and um, I will be popping, so I still have a couple of um, single crochets to pop in, as you can see, to make the project look neat. There we go. And now that I've gone all the way around, I am going to be slip stitching through the first um, stitch that we uh, made, like so. And this is what we have, so I'm just going to, sorry. I'm just gonna, sorry, de-zoom. So I've just de-zoomed and this is what we should have. And so for now, the um, next row, we are going to be chaining three, one, two, and three. And this counts as our first double crochet that goes with the first stitch here. So we are going to be going directly into the next stitch with a double crochet and then the next stitch with a double crochet and then the next stitch with a double crochet and then the next stitch with a double crochet And just place double crochets all around um, this sleeve for this round and then I'll show you what to do next. Okay, so I've gone all the way around with my double crochets and now I'm going to slip stitch through that chain two here. Like so, I'm going to try and show you better on um, camera. Just a second, sorry about that. There we go, so this is our row of double crochets and what we are going to be doing now um, is place another four rows of double crochets um, on, this, um, on this sleeve, so that means you'll have five rows of double crochets in total and then um, once you've, you've done that I'll get back to you to show you the rest of the project. So just go ahead and add um, four more rows of double crochets on this sleeve and then I'll show you what to do after that. So I'm back and I'm, um, I finished all my um, rows. As you can see, this is one sleeve and I am going to show you how to finish off this sleeve. So to finish off this sleeve, I've um, fastened off um, the cake yarn and I am going to attach the, um, the lipstick um, yarn. So Stylecraft um, Special Aran in Shade Lipstick. I'm going to attach it to this sleeve. And then I'm going to... Um, pull up a loop, um, chain one, sorry, and then I'm going to place a single crochet into each and every stitch across until the end of this round. So just go ahead and um, place a single crochet all the way around. So I've almost 
finished um, this round and I'm going to slip stitch through the first chain that we did to close off this round and this is what we have and now for round two I'm going to chain three one two and three skip a stitch and then go into the next I'm just going to zoom in so this is for the chain arc edging so skip a stitch uh, skip a stitch and go into the next and place a single crochet into that now chain three one two and three skip a stitch and go into the next chain three one two and three skip a stitch and go into the next chain three one two and three skip a stitch and go into the next one two three and just carry this on until the end of this row and then I'll show you what to do then so I finished this row and what I'm going to do I'm going to skip the stitch and then go into the next with my last single crochet and this is what it looks like I'm just going to de-zoom and this is what the chain arc edging looks like so it's really really pretty so now just fasten off and repeat the same thing on um, for the other, the other sleeve and then I'll show you and now I'm going to show you how to do the front opening of the cardigan Okay, so now I'm going to show you how to create um, the front opening um, border. So again, just take your um, Stylecraft um, Special Iron um, in Shade Lipstick. So we are going to be attaching the yarn to a stitch. So I'm going to choose a stitch here. So just choose any stitch. And now you are going to chain one and I'm just going to zoom in again. Again, we are going to be doing a, a row of single crochets. So we've chained one. Now just go into the next stitch with a single crochet and the next stitch with a single crochet and the next stitch with a single crochet and the next stitch. And just place a single crochet all the way around the front opening and then once you reach the beginning I'll show you what to do then okay so I'm just going to zoom in so I've reached um, the end of this round where we began and I'm just going to slip stitch through that first um, chain one that we did to close off this round and now for round two, we are going to be chaining three. One, two, and three. And that counts as our first double crochet. And we are going to be going into um, that same stitch with um, another double crochet. And another double crochet, so that's um, three double crochets for now because this first chain three counts as a double crochet and four and five so you should have five double crochets in total and that creates our first um, shell stitch now skip one and two um, stitches and go into the next with a single crochet now skip one and two stitches and go into the next with a shell. So five double crochets in one stitch. So one, two, three, four, and five. Skip one and two stitches and go into the next with a single crochet. Now skip one and two and go into the next with five double crochets. One, two, three, four, and five. 
and then skip one and two and go into the next with a single crochet and so just carry this pattern on until um, you reach um, maybe five or six stitches before the end here so go all the way around and then I'll show you how to finish off this round okay so I've gone all the way around with this pattern and I've almost finished I've placed my last um, shell stitch here and what I am going to be doing to finish off this round is skipping one and two stitches and then placing a single crochet into this stitch here and now um, to finish off this round you can either leave thing, things like this and fasten off or what I like to do is just go into that first chain three here that we did like this and just slip stitch through here just so that it kind of ties um, ties in with the pattern if that makes sense so you're just pulling um, this shell stitch down and anchoring it down just to make it look nice and even and so what you are going to be doing now is um, fastening off so you fastened off and just pull through like this and tighten and this is what we have here so I'm really happy. Sorry if you can't, I'm just gonna de-zoom for a second because it's gonna look nicer. So this is so pretty. I'm so pleased with this um with this pattern. I really like it. Um the only thing left to do now is um tidy up your loose ends if you have any left. So I do hope you enjoyed this tutorial. I really enjoyed um, making this project with you. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. And see you next week. Bye bye.